Kai and Oscar have been training in Vegas for nearly four weeks when I meet them for a second time. The lush growth of the Midwestern summer rolling beneath me slowly gives way to scrub brush and miles of arid western desert. The cab ride to the hotel that Kai and Oscar are staying in quickly passes by the familiar sights of the strip and enters a somewhat barren and desolate industrial park. The hotel, though clean and modern, is a far cry from the luxury hotels, which can be seen off in the distance. There is no restaurant, no casino. Before heading with them to the gym for our first video session, I meet with the Mr. Olympia contender and his trainer in their room. Rather than interrupt them with an invasive interview, I decide to hang back, observe, and get into the rhythm of their lives. I am immediately struck by the somber atmosphere. What causes God to get up off the throne, so to speak, and come to where we are is when we start giving him praise, when we go around in faith, expecting his faith. And know this, you know... Oscar made a meal for us. While we eat, not a word is spoken by anyone. Instead, we listen to an internet preacher and watch a motivational video. The moment that you decide, decision changes everything. Oscar had done his homework and had brought with him a library of positive reinforcement. These CDs and DVDs would form the soundtrack of my entire time here with him. It's trying to keep you down. With a small adjustment in your attitude, it'll be the very cloud God uses to shower his blessings and faith. When we feel this heaviness, especially when that discouragement is trying to follow us around. All the forms that man fashions with his hands must first exist in his thought. He cannot shape a thing until he has thought that thing. When we realize this, we lose all doubt and fear, for we know that we can create what we want to create, and we can get what we want to have, and can become what we want to be. Watching Kai, it seems like he's in a constant state of meditation. In one of the most decadent places in the world, Kai Green is living a life of self-denial. Amidst the indulgences of the flesh, Kai and Oscar have carved out an oasis of discipline. On our way to Gold's Gym, we drive by the strip. We are like a bubble of purity, passing through a corrupt artery. Fix every word upon your memory and meditate upon them until you firmly believe. Collect your thoughts, clear your mind. Yeah. Go, lightweight. Still a warm-up. Let's go. On three, my count. One, two, three, up. Let's go. As we get into the workout, I can see that Kai is still training intensely at this point. Three, four, five. And Oscar is still working along with him, matching him set for set, if not weight for weight. Three, good, four, good power, let's go. Good Remember what I said in the locker room. Never forget that. So that's your thoughts to your mind. I mean, 100%. And do your lift off. Count on three. One, two, up. Up. Four. Eight. Two. Eight. Four. Eight. Five. One more. Eight. Four. You. Up. All I need from you is four fall out reps. I need, I need you to feel rested, rejuvenated and powerful enough to knock out four with no problem. You reach out. I need, I need your muscles to feel this weight, to feel this resistance. This is 500 pounds, dude. Two reps. Then we're gonna strip it to four, then to three, then to two. But all you focus right now is mastering these two reps, allowing 
those two reps to build, maintain the thick muscle that you have. I would never ask you to do anything that I told you before that you're not capable of. It doesn't matter how you're being. In your mind, I know you can do this. I need you to awaken that part of yourself. Bring that out right now and give me everything you got. Leave nothing fucking behind. You hear me? 100% effort. settling thought begins to occur to me. Throughout our evening together, I begin to get the feeling that Kai and Oscar don't really want me here. Despite their initial enthusiasm to have me on the project, it seems now like my cameras are unwelcome intruders, threatening to disrupt their concentration. At this level of competition, I know that the slightest thing can have major consequences. I do my best to be as inconspicuous as possible. I ask no questions and try to blend into the background. And then it happens. During a routine warm-up set, Oscar suddenly falters and nearly drops the weight. He has pulled or torn something. Let's go, man. Let's keep the focus going. Three plates for eight. I'm done with this training today. I'm just gonna train you right now. Don't put energy in what's going on with me. I'll take care of this. Be here now. Focus on what you're doing. Pretend like this is we're encasing a bubble and there's nobody distracting. It's just about you connecting with your muscle group, getting it thicker, stronger, and better. Suddenly, I feel like I am intruding on something very private, very personal. Every documentary filmmaker knows that the presence of a camera changes everything. How much of an effect am I having on Kai and Oscar? And keep it going, all right? Let's go, baby, come on. My respect for what Kai is attempting to do makes me extremely self-conscious. One, two, three, up! Oh, let's go. I am becoming afraid that my presence might deflect his trajectory even slightly and cause him to miss his mark. Four, five, there you go. You aim to receive a certain amount of um, success and the things that come along with that success 
everything has an impact. There's something to be said for learning how to become, how to maintain your calm and your poise. Because, you know, it's, it's all a part of it. One, two, three, oh. Let's go. It's one thing to toil in obscurity with no one watching, working towards a big break. It's another thing to be an elite athlete with sponsorships and money at stake. At this level, the media spotlight is inescapable, even in the somewhat esoteric world of professional bodybuilding. Your privacy becomes a commodity. The adulation or criticism of the fans is never far from your mind, and now, any misstep or difficulty is broadcast for the world to see. Kai's rise to prominence in the world of bodybuilding has happened relatively quickly, and it may be that he has not yet adjusted to the increased scrutiny that this notoriety brings. One of the reasons of being isolated is to be isolated, you know, to be away from everything. And any camera is to be a distraction. The last thing you want is a camera to catch you at less than your best. You know, um, because you unveil everything to a camera, especially, you know, getting ready for a show. Um, it's a time that you're, you're vulnerable. You know, your calories are low. Your, whatever energy you do have, you're putting it in your cardio and your training, and you don't have much left. So to deal with anything else that may seem a distraction, you have very little patience and energy for. Kai seems to get himself under control tonight and finishes this chest workout strong. But I worry what tomorrow will bring. Driving back to the hotel, Kai and Oscar are even more subdued than before. Along the way, we pass the hotel where the Olympia will be taking place. Mm -hmm.